Hey, hey, welcome back into today's video. Opinions on Onision's channel being deleted, then coming back, a little bit about uh, some insight on the last video I made about that. A lot of you guys were confused. Uh, it looks like um, God of Cringe is up to no good, and Trisha Paytas does or does not support Donald. A lot of us are confused about that. All that and more as the rep reports. Over on the Repzilla Twitter, you can see I have a post about the termination of Anision's channel. I did post a video talking about how I, I did have empathy for him losing his channel because I was appealing to human nature and uh, his wife and children. I wanted to go into further depth on this saying, I don't have personal empathy for Anision. I have compassion. I have the ability to disagree with someone, not like things that they have done, but still see the situation. His wife, children, the work he's put in, etc. I am happy YouTube is doing something so long as it's done in the right way and not out of censorship. And with recent events going on, I'm not so sure. People tend to get blinded by hate and or a fallacy called bandwagon effect, where they join in because it's fun to be included, and I get that, but it does blind us from thinking rationally for ourselves and forming our own opinions, which is a fundamental part of my channel. If we spread hate because we don't like that someone spreads hate, how are we any different? A lot of people thought that I was trying to humanize Anision too much or that I was trying to get people to feel sorry for him. And believe you me, that's not what this is. I have compassion in general. I've approached all topics on my channel with compassion and looking at things objectively by judging the situation. That's the only way that we can see the news accurately to form our own opinions. Um, I do not agree with Anision. I do not have personal sympathy for Anision. Uh, he's recently said in the most recent Repzion video that I said something about money. I, the only thing I said to him about money was I did not have enough money to do what I want to do, which is travel the world and be a public speaker. I'm not going to go into details on the conversations between me and him because, like I said before, it's unethical to talk about personal DMs between me and another creator. In other news... <laughs> We were outing the God of Cringe, exposing him for lying about sexual assault, and I was asking you guys, do you think there should be a punishment about if someone lies about sexual abuse? And it also want to know here, so let me know in the comments below, how do you feel about that? It's pretty serious, and it can be very damaging to the reputations of a person, but I just wanted to point it out further. The God of Cringe did issue an apology to Jesus Christ YouTuber, but in each one of his apology videos, right here in the very front, it says cheap shout outs. Here's another one. Shout outs for $7. And again, another one. I'm sorry, Jesus Christ channel. Shout outs for $7. So it was completely 100% obvious. If you haven't seen the video that I did on this, it is called uh, The Sexual Misconduct of Jesus Christ Exposed, where I go into detail and show you exactly how the God of Cringe was wrong and how he didn't do any research, and it just, it's its blatant, it's a blatant lie. There are people out there that are willing to lie for money. Let me know what you think about that. Also in the news, <laughs> Trisha Paytas has been a topic of controversy once again, because in a now deleted video where she was wearing a Trump t-shirt, she says of immigrants that there are so many taking our jobs, not paying taxes, which are two horrible situations in regard to our horrible economy. So you're taking our jobs, you're not paying taxes, we're paying for you. Same thing goes with women who come over, have a baby to get American benefits. They come over here pregnant, have the baby, they can stay, and now they're reaping the benefits of Americans without having to do the duties that Americans, we have to do as Americans. So the wall, per se, is this was met with outrage and uh, it forced her to make an apology. I'm gonna say like, I do not support Trump because I, I don't and I never did. And I don't know if, if it's public. She says that she never supported Trump ever, but I found old tweets where she said this. 2015, new video, why I'm voting for Trump. We getting political up in here, her, sorry. Um, I wanted to see what this video was, but when I clicked on it, it was deleted. 
But it must have been highly offensive as one Twitter user says, I can't believe you said that about Mexicans. I'm so disappointed of you. I thought you were different. Sorry, but after this video, I now refuse to watch any more of your videos. And that includes collabs with Shane Dawson. If, there, if it's public record, but you can look up, I've never voted a day in my life. Like that might be, that also might be ignorant and also might upset. She said that she never voted a day in her life. But in a tweet, she said, April of 2016, please keep an open mind that while I vote Republican, I hardly a conservative. I'm more in the middle than you'd think. It's really confusing because she said for a fact that she didn't vote, but here she says she does vote. Which one is it? All that stuff. But in general, even if I became super informed and I had my candidate and I supported them 100%, I still wouldn't tweet about it or make videos. She said that she would never do that when she so obviously did that. November of 2016. Everyone needs to chill the F out. Donald Trump is our president. Don't like it? Move out of the country. But this whining is annoying. I just feel awful that anyone would think that I'm this like monster and that I would like support someone that does this stuff. It's like, I don't, I don't know what to do. And it's like, if making that video that specifically the one that's going around that Trump one of me in like a Trump shirt, like encouraged people to like, cause at the time he didn't, like I said, he did not have a nomination. If that encouraged people to actually vote. So she says in this video that she didn't, uh, wasn't supporting Trump after, after his nomination. But we've seen in tweets that she was, and this tweet here, this tweet here, which you can see is definitely April 2016. She says, while I endorse Donald Trump, I don't stand behind every single thing he has ever said. So she's saying one thing and then being completely disproven on this other thing. So it does seem very disingenuous and it is blatant lies. Man, that's crazy. And when I was digging around, I found it a now deleted video where she filmed her reaction when Donald Trump said that he was running for president. I am officially running for president of the United States. <laughs> I got excited. We are going to make our country great again. Woo! Make America great again. I kind of love it. I kind of got chills. I'm not going to lie. kind of got chills. I don't want to suck a stick. It can <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I've never had sexual thoughts about this man before. I'm like, that's that D. So to be completely clear, um, I'm not saying that supporting Donald Trump or not supporting Donald Trump is good or bad in this situation. I have uh, no preference towards your political agendas as we don't do that on this channel. What I'm pointing out here is the fact that she lied and that's not good. <laughs> but I am very curious on what you think about this. You can tell me what your opinions are. Put them in the comment section below. If you need to reach out to me, go on over to Instagram. We're at 7,606. We're trying to build it up, trying to get to that 10,000. We're gonna do a Q and A, a live Q and A. Yes, and it's gonna be awesome. So, what, I did, I'm having a mind blank. I, I was hit in the head with a car once. Um, so I'm actually feeling really good today. This was a great, this was a great episode of the Rep Reports. I hope you enjoyed it because as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right. You guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and your interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up to those likes. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. I do want to point out one more thing now that we're here at the end of the video, and I'm going to give you guys a reason to stay till the end of the video. When Anision's channel, Uh Oh Bro, was deleted, I wanted I wanted it to be a change for him. I wanted him to see the evil in his ways, and I wanted him to turn it around and, and just do better. Um, but he left a video uploaded on there where he was pretty much laughing at everyone. Uh-oh. Bro. <laughs> does show to me that he's just not he's very disconnected and he's not listening to the audience as always and i'm honestly very sincerely disappointed at this point but what are you gonna do these things happen and as i always say humans are gonna be humans i am gonna be i and you are gonna be you at the end of the day and that's all that there is we can always hope to be better be positive Law of Attraction, Universal Kindness. What? And uh, I know that you're repping if you're not repping your gang. And how do you do that? All you gotta do is subscribe, notifications turned on. Be in the comment section to every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there. And the rest of the rest of the community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you.